Hello world, it's John Pinto, Roving Realtor, Bon Vivant, here talking about all things home warranty with Bob Johnson from Home Guard Home Warranty. Hi, Bob. Hi, John. And Rafael Batenses uh, with Home Guard Incorporated, Roof Termite Home Inspectors, National Hazards Disclosures. And uh, did I miss anything, Rafael? Is that all of it? Oh, I think he froze. That's oh. correct. Hey, everybody. Oh, okay. Very good. <laughs> he is there. He is there. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, so, um, you know, Bob, you, you ever go for your physical and, uh, you know, they take your blood and your urine and your blood pressure and, you know, you spend three hours and a couple of hundred bucks and whatever it is that you spend and, you know, there's always a little disappointment uh, it, it, that's included with the glee when you spend all that time and money and they don't find anything, right? Right. <laughs> right. Home warranty yep. is kind of the same thing. You know, uh, if you buy a home warranty and you don't make a claim, you're a little disappointed, but you're certainly happy when you have to make a claim and you have the home warranty. Uh, so mm -hmm. can you enlighten us? Uh, uh, about the claim, and, and, and let's start with some of the basics, uh, understanding what the coverage is, and making sure that the 800 number is readily available in your contacts, and the little magnet with the 800 number is, is, is sitting on your refrigerator, and let's go from there. Okay, well, yeah, you're 100% you're, you're right, and a home warranty is just like uh, any insurance. It's there for peace of mind. You, you hope you never have to use your car insurance or as you brought up your health insurance because you've had that doctor find something that you don't want him to find. Um, but warranties are there just to, to make you feel good. So if something goes wrong with your systems, uh, basic appliances or any optional coverage that you ordered with the policy, you know you're not gonna be spending thousands of dollars to take care of a problem. It's hopefully only going to cost you the, uh, the $75 deductible. Um, but we've made as an industry, the claims process as easy as we possibly can. Um, instead of a, a homeowner moving into a new town because they just got transferred there with a job, or they might have used a plumber before that is now retired and they don't really know who to use. Uh, by having a warranty, you've got a company who's already vetted those uh, technicians. So in Home Guard's case, for example, we have checked out that technician if they're licensed, they're bonded, their experience. And that way we know um, we're going to dispatch to a technician that um, can do the job and understands exactly what um, our expectations are as a company. Uh, so to go through the claims process, uh, let's say you've moved into the property and uh, you're the new buyer, you need to make a claim because the heater was working just fine when you moved in and now all of a sudden uh, there's no heat coming out. So it would be as simple as just calling the 800 number uh, with Home Guard. Uh, you actually have hopefully had a chance to talk to our concierge or had some communication with them, which they will leave you a direct line and extension to that person. So you'll already have a direct contact before you ever have to place the claim. And you just call that person and tell them your address and tell them what the situation is. And they will dispatch, in the case we're talking about, to a heating technician. And uh, that heating technician will contact the homeowner. And they have a certain amount of time, uh, depending on if it's an emergency situation or if it's just a standard uh, call to uh, contact the homeowner, make an appointment that's mutual for both parties. And then the technician would show up uh, at the door at that time and evaluate that problem that is occurring as we talked about heaters here. Um, he'll analyze and do his tests on the heater. And then he will call the home warranty company and give us the report, let us know what needs to be done what parts have to be ordered if he doesn't happen to have the parts with him, or he might say, can't repair this. We have to replace this unit. 
in which case most heating technicians aren't going to carry a heater on the back of their truck. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to authorize and order a new heater for the client. And when that heater comes in, then they will reschedule with the homeowner to come out and change out the old heater for the new heater. So the process for the homeowner really hopefully will be one phone call to home guard. They'll receive one phone call from the technician. They'll set that appointment. Then the technician will analyze and do give his recommendations. And then the job will be completed and you'll be done. Very good. So let's talk a little bit about the technicians. These are all independent contractors that you vet, correct? Correct. Uh, and obviously you're going to have electricians, you're going to have uh, plumbers, uh, HVAC. Uh, can you enlighten me as to any other technicians that you uh, appear to engage on a semi-regular basis? Sure. Um, I'll speak just to Home Guard here because we, we include roof with every one of our policies. There's no extra charge for that. So we have roofers. Uh, you've got pool technicians. You've got, uh, for rural areas, we've got well pump and septic specialists. Um, so we have a broad range of technicians depending on the area we're in that we know are gonna be utilized uh, most often. On a total side note, just to educate the audience, plumbing is actually the number one call in the warranty industry. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm always extremely vigilant when I'm preparing a lease agreement that specifically lets the tenant know that if you throw anything down the sink or down the toilet that doesn't belong there, you're paying for the call. <laughs> How often does that yes, come up? Part, yes, part of the thing I'll, I'll, I'll interject it now, um, and we I'm sure we'll talk about this on other videos, so hopefully everyone will tune in and see those. But uh, systems and appliances, um, covered items, they do have to break because of normal wear and tear. Uh, as you said, something not normal usually is not going to be covered. And a uh, quick example uh, along the lines of what you were talking about, John, um, we had a property that was um, a rental and we didn't know that the tenant was not happy with the buyer that they were selling this home that they owned. And so they decided to pour concrete down the toilet. So when the new buyer came in, the, the uh, drain line was all clogged and our plumber found out that that whole thing had to be replaced because there was concrete. Hmm. That's not yeah. normal. <laughs> <laughs> some people, some people. Some people, exactly, some people. <laughs> so, okay, so, so I think we've got the claims process down. Do you, is there anything else that you would want to get across to our viewing audience before we uh, end uh, this video? Yes, one thing about claims process, um, all warranty companies are out to try to take care of the client as soon as possible. And every warranty company, uh, certain times of the year, I mentioned roof coverage earlier, let's just say it is the first rain. Everyone can imagine that um, everyone in your town, you've got quite a few people that are finding out their roof has a leak. So the roofers might be very busy. And maybe the independent contractors the warranty companies have assigned to that area are busy as well. Well, warranty companies will do what we call an outside authorization. And they might call it something different, but what the process is, if our technicians, and all of us usually have multiple technicians within an, a geographic area, if they're all busy and can't get to a home for a week, we will, tell the homeowner, if you can find someone else that can come out sooner, you call, let us know, and we'll try to work with that technician. Because as a warranty industry, we know the sooner we can get someone out, the better for everybody. And mm -hmm. so there is that option in the claims process with most warranty companies. Very good. So uh, now uh, you know everything you need to know about uh, the 
claims process with home warranty, my suggestion as a 47 year realtor is uh, understand who the home warranty company is, understand the coverage, take advantage of the concierge service, call them in advance and make sure you got that 800 number handy for after escrow closes. So with that, we will conclude our claims process on home warranty video and we will see you next time.